Hi there, this is Sanjay and I welcome you all to this unique English learning class. In today's class, we are going to focus on some grammatical words. Yes, we're going to talk about likely to, likely to have and likely to be. So these are the three words we are going to practice today in this class. Why we are choosing these words? Because these are the frequent words that we use in our day-to-day -day communication. When you communicate with somebody, these are the words you can use and you can make your communication much effective. So let's start with likely to. So in general, when we have a possibility of something, for example, you say um, there is a possibility that he can get a job or maybe um, he has a possibility that he can pass the exam. So you can use that sentence by using likely to. You can say he is likely to get this job. It means there is a possibility that he can get this job. One more example we can have like you can say my friend can um, get first rank in this exam. So how you can use this sentence using likely to. So you can say uh, my friend is likely to get the first rank in the exam. All right. So we can say likely to in a very easy way. What we need to have a feeling behind, we need to feel like somebody is going to or there is a possibility for somebody to do something in his or her life. Right. So this is likely to. Now, the second rule we have is likely to have and that we use when we have a possibility of having something with somebody or for somebody. For example, like uh, my friend is likely to have a car this year. It means there is a possibility that my friend can have a car this year. All right. So you can say like likely to have when it, it shows position, when somebody has something and there is a possibility of having him or like for something. All right. So likely to have we can use for possibility in the future, maybe when somebody has or should be having in the future. Now, the third rule we have is likely to be and that shows to be like when somebody is going to be something like my friend is uh, likely to be a policeman or you can say my father is likely to be a bank officer. It means you are predicting you are having a possibility for somebody to become something in future so that we use for likely to be all right so i'm going to repeat one more time we have studied three rules today the first one is likely to the next one is likely to have and the last one is likely to be all right and how we use it for the first one like likely to plus verbs first form you can say uh, my friend is likely to get a job it means there is a possibility that my friend can get a job it, it, it's just a possibility. The second one is likely to have, like you can say, my friend is likely to have a car this year. And the last one is likely to be when we, we feel like there is a possibility of uh, for somebody to be somebody, right? For example, you can say, my friend is likely to be uh, an air, um, my friend is likely to be an English teacher in the future, right? So there is a possibility for something and we use this three word. I hope you understood these three words and you would start using these words in your day to day communication. And uh, I will be coming up with more such kind of vocabulary and the grammatical structures for you. So for such kind of videos, subscribe the channel and share this with your friends. So thank you so much for today.